Beer bellies, those distinctive Santa Claus pot bellies that make guys look a little bit like they're pregnant. But does beer actually cause those beer bellies? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. A scientific review has found that beer does not alone cause the iconic pot belly that everyone associates with it. Scientists from NYU and UC Davis say it's a myth. There's nothing special or magical about beer that causes a special beer gut. Alcohol is alcohol, and your body can't tell the difference whether it's beer, wine, or hard alcohol. The reason why some beer drinkers get a beer belly comes down to a few other factors. Firstly, the serving size. A beer is 12 to 16 ounces, a glass of wine is five to six ounces, and a shot is only one to two ounces. So beer is often consumed in higher quantities than other types of alcohol, and so you're consuming more calories. There are also lifestyle factors at play, like poor diet. You often see beer served alongside foods like sausages and hamburgers and pizza. A very poor diet with or without beer can alone cause the pot belly. And you're even more prone if you're over 35 and or if you're male. After 35, your metabolism slows down. You can't eat as much as you used to, which sounds terrible and I'm already dreading it. This is why some older folks put on weight. They don't readjust their diet to fit their slower metabolism. You also don't really see pot bellies in women, and that's because women tend to store fat in their hips, their thighs, and their booties instead of their waist. But if you've ever encountered an authentic belly so big and round that you can rest a drink on it, you know there's something a little different going on there. It's not squishy or jiggly. It's kind of hard, like you could pop it, and you can't just pinch the fat. There are two reasons for this. If they're an extreme alcoholic, they could have ascites, which is fluid retention usually caused by liver disease. For most beer bellies, though, it's because of visceral fat. This is a fat that lives not right under the skin, like that squishy subcutaneous fat, but packed deeper in the body around the organs. It feels hard because it pushes up against your abdominal muscles. Visceral fat is higher risk health-wise because it can cause insulin resistance, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease. Subcutaneous fat is generally less worrisome and everyone needs at least a little to cushion their nerves, blood vessels, your skeleton, and to regulate body temperature. Take sumo wrestlers as an example. These guys look really fat, they eat a ton of food, but they're healthier than others who look just like them. The wrestlers don't have insulin resistance, heart disease, or diabetes, and it's because they have a lot of subcutaneous fat and very little of that beer belly visceral fat. Why are their bodies this way? In 2007, German scientists at the University of Leipzig successfully isolated three genes that process body fat. When they looked at an individual's gene expression, they could correctly predict if they would store more visceral fat or subcutaneous fat. And this is why someone's weight is an imperfect measure of their overall health. And it's also why the last beer belly contributor is genetics. So guys, down below or on our DNews Facebook page, what is your alcohol of choice? Let me know and I'll catch you next time.